Hi, my name is Stephanie Towery, and I'm a librarian at Texas State University. I'm going to talk today about what open access is and what open educational resources are. O open educational resources are also referred to shorthand as OER, and they are important because they are a type of open access materials that are created and used for K through 12 and higher education. So they're specifically for educational use. Open access is material that is digital, it's online, and it's free of charge, and it's also free of most copyright and other licensing restrictions. OER is a very specific um, type of open access materials used for education, and they give you five rights. The right to reuse the material, the right to retain the material so you can have control over it, the right to revise the material so you can change it up, and the right to remix the material so you can um, reuse it in different ways and um, uh, mix it with other things to create something new. And you can redistribute the material, um, which means you can share it widely. Open educational resources are important because they allow faculty the freedom um, without cost to create their own instructional materials using someone else's created work. Um, they're important for students because they are free, free to use and free to keep so they can um, travel with you after you leave um, the school. Open access is important because Materials that aren't open access are generally very expensive and come with a lot of restrictions on use. So that here at the library, we subscribe to a lot of databases full of journals and articles, but there are restrictions on how we can use that and who we can allow to access that. You have to be an enrolled student or a current staff or faculty member even to be able to access them, just to be able to read them. And then there are further restrictions on how you can use them. You may not be able to make a copy and post it to your course site, for instance. It depends on the license that we get the material from. If you were using open access materials, well, you could put a copy of that in your course site. You could share it with your friends. You could even post it on the internet on your social media site. So open access is very important for us for many different reasons. And open educational resources are very important for higher education because they bring the cost of education down for the student. I think that covers everything that I needed to talk about. It's just a brief overview and I'm going to be making more videos that will go into more detail about these things and how you can um, create open access materials and open educational materials through licensing. Um, so through Creative Commons licensing. So thank you very much.